In this video, I'll demonstrate how to call RESTful services from JavaScript. Okay, so I've got this hotspot application. I've got a before file, there's the project file, and then the after file. Now, this uh, application currently has uh, one HTML page, index.html, and right now we're looking at the before version. Now, we've already set things up so that uh, there are event handlers in there to allow you to click on buttons and switch pages. And what we want to do now is implement some RESTful services. So here's the after version. It's the same code, but we're modifying it. Now, there are several steps I'll explain. Let's go ahead and maximize this. Step one is to set the media items array to an empty array. Now, this array will eventually be populated with an AJAX request, and here it is right here. Var target ID equals, and just open and close in quotes to indicate an empty array. This is the original code right here, by the way. On this line that's been commented out. Next is to find the build page one DOM line and delete it. So here we've commented it out. And in its place, we're going to add the get media IDs method, which makes an AJAX request and stores the result in the empty array that we created in the previous line. So here it is right here. Function get media IDs, and there's the code. Now, the next step is uh, step four, where the web media manager slash resources slash media web service returns only a listing of the media item IDs, and there are no details or vote records returned. So for each media item, two additional web service calls have to be made in order to obtain the full set of information. So we're going to add a line invoking the get media items method, and there it is right there. Then we're going to add a line invoking the get media IDs. It's actually IDs, not items method. And here's the line right here. Now let's move down. Now the next step is to add a get media details ID function. And that, that'll make a web service call to obtain the details of an individual item, including the item's title and URI. So this would be an image of some sort that we could vote on. And the web media manager slash resources media ID web service should already return a JSON response. And so here's the function right here. Now next what we want to do is create the get media votes ID function that will make a web service call and uh, obtain the voting record of an individual item. So the idea here is to get the vote and then return a value depending on what button we click. Remember we have a, an option of like or dislike. Now, the next is the get media IDs method uh, that we created in step three, and it makes a web service call and then loops through the results of that call. Now, during that loop for each item in the results, uh, get media IDs calls the get media details ID and get media votes ID functions. Now, because of this, when get media IDs is called, a chain reaction is caused that causes a, a number of web service calls, and the number of calls is equal to one plus two times the item count. So here we've got the function that performs that right there, cycling through the media items. Now next, we're going to create a vote is liked function that will uh, post to the voting web service and will post either the votes like ID web service or the votes dislike ID web service. So again, there's two options here and you can see them right there, like or dislike, and this is the function that performs that. Now, next, we're going to modify the like button event handler to call the vote function with a true argument. So we're going to replace console.log liked, which was in the original code. Let's go back and take a look at that. Right there. With vote true. Now, similarly, we're going to do that with vote false. And again, if we look back at the original, you can see that we have uh, console.log disliked, and now we're replacing it with vote false. And then finally, what we're going to do is modify the update vote totals function and to call the get media votes function for each element in the media items array. The update vote totals function is called when the refresh button is pressed. So we're going to replace console.log and this code right here. Let's go and take a look at it over here, right there. And we're going to replace that with get media votes and then in parentheses, media items I and ID. We're going to cycle through the media items again and modify that update vote totals with this line. 